time. About the Glasgow crowd, uh, I think just how mad they get, <laughs> to be honest, compared to any other crowd, like, well, any, any Scottish crowd, uh, they're great, really. Uh, so, yeah, we just we played in Scotland on the last tour, and it was brilliant when we played Edinburgh, you were at Sneaky Peace, weren't you? It was good, good atmosphere there, so, and that was the lads' favourite, favourite gig, so, straight away, since the booking agent gets another gig in London, or another little tour in Scotland, and, yeah, so that was the plan and uh, pulled up, so looking forward to it tonight. Yeah. So you were in Buskers with Dundee last year, that? It was good, yeah, it was a, it was a little bit quiet, um, you know, but kind of expecting that at the moment anyway, really, because, you know, like I said, we're still, we're still uh, only new for uh, got, you know, hopefully we can start building a fan base together now. I think places like tonight in Glasgow, this is where we want to start getting foundations in Scotland, like Glasgow, Edinburgh, you know, the big, the big cities, but it's important to go to other places like Dundee and Perth uh, as well, which was good, yeah, that was, that was quite busy, to be fair. It was quiet at first, but then when we heard the music, people started coming in, and, and yeah, it was good, it was good towards the end, so yeah, we've uh, had a good run so far, yeah. quite like Scotland. Yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm not just saying that either. I'm not, I'm yeah, no, you, you've, said, you've said before, no, I, I, honestly, um, I don't know what it is, I just absolutely love everything about Scotland, the Scottish people are always friendly when we come up here. And they like the music, They do, they do. I think every, you know, the whole UK, they, they love the music and that, but the Scottish, if you've got like even five in the crowd, they seem to be like really having it, you know, they're loving it. Whereas if you see like five people, usually outside of Scotland, I won't sell on main places, but... No, but they sometimes might just walk off if it's quite quiet, so you, you know, that's what I love about these guys. They're always supportive, yeah, always supportive, so yeah, definitely always come back here. I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight. Yeah, yeah, it should be good, should be good. So, you seem to be touring a lot, as you were saying, you were here a few months ago, and you seem to be touring a lot, so why are you really touring again? Is it just to build the fan base? Is that it? Is it to do with your new material? Yeah, well, we've got some new songs tonight that you from the Edinburgh gig, um, but uh, yeah, I just say to our booking agent all the time, just keep us busy because, you know, like I said, we've done it before, I did it before with Catfish and the Bottom Men and, and it worked that way, so, you know, we built a good fan, fan base doing it that way and just want to do the same again, really. Um, and, yeah, connecting with people and, you know, we'll always make an effort after gigs to go and chat to people and stuff and, and have a drink with them and that. And um, we enjoy that part of it as well. It's not a chore for us to do that. We actually enjoy doing it. So, it's, you know, uh, that's the main thing, really. If we weren't enjoying doing some gigs and, and just doing it because it was for the money or whatever, for whatever reason, then I'd say don't bother. But, you know, we're, we're just enjoying just enjoying doing, doing gigs. It's nice for fans music to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Just, I mean, you know, you do see a lot. A lot of bands who again without naming names that will just go off stage and just, just sit in the dressing room for, for ages after. Which is what we do for five minutes after the gig, just to just to go over what we've done, compose ourselves, get a drink and then come back out, you know, and, and see what the crack is then, you know. Uh, so yeah. But you also get feedback Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you do, you learn stuff from people as well, like you said, feedback. And, uh, and stuff like that every time, whether it be stuff you take on board or don't, you know, it doesn't matter, but it's feedback, not the rest of it, so yeah, it's all good, it's all good stuff. Yeah. So I know you've just had your new single, right? Yeah. Um, and you're going to be playing it. Yeah. And how is that going? It's gone. Yeah, I've just had the, um, the list back off our radio plug at Emma. Just sent me a list of all the stations that have been played on, I was surprised by how many. I couldn't keep up with, with it when it was happening and it was like a massive place. Say like 40, 50 stations that had been on around the UK, so that was that was uh, amazing and the reviews we had on the single was, was brilliant as well. I don't think we've had a bad review so uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, they're, all, they're all good reviews so 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's probably been. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's it's just a single type song, isn't it? Really, you know, it's one of those songs that's good as a single, and what hence why we put it out there. We've got songs that go into a bit more depth with with the terms of the music and the lyrics or whatever, but this one is just a pure radio song, so it's, it's quite. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's catchy. So we draws people in, and then. If you want to go other avenues and alleyways, pick it up with the songs we've got, then I think we've got that song as well, so, yeah. So what do you like the best of all? I like most of it really, but obviously the like, playing the gig is the best part, you know, that, that's only like a small percentage of it as well, really, when you think about it, it's only up there for, say, an hour at the most, which is not a lot of time when you're... Um, obviously waiting around to sound check in the hotel and all that stuff, sort of stuff. So, um, but like I so said, we get on as a, as a, as a five, and we're probably a tour manager as well. So that's yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We just enjoy, we just enjoy being together. And, uh, that was going to be one of the questions last time. Yeah. We saw you just come together as a band. So yeah. Jail, I think yeah, we've definitely improved. Come on. A lot since then, we've wrote some new songs together as a four, rather than me bringing in the song. And, and, uh, well, I mean, I still brought in the song, but they all wrote their own parts to it and stuff. Whereas on some of the early stuff, I'd written everything and they'd sort of put their own sort of stamp on it. Whereas this was their own original, you know, they wrote these parts themselves now, so that's helped, uh, helped us gel as a unit. And yeah, just the more gigs you do, the tighter you get. So that's why I keep pushing the, the, the agents to get us more and more gigs. Um, so yeah. yeah, 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 you do. It's obviously like we've all got traits in that, that might annoy us or you know or stuff like that. But you just got to deal with that and just take people for what they are. It's nothing too bad really to be honest to talk about. <laughs> no, it's nothing too bad to talk about. Really. <laughs> so, have you got any other singles in the next Yeah, we will, we will do this year, yeah. I think we'll probably get another single out. Um, and then maybe an EP at the back end of this year. Maybe early next year. And then just take it from there. Just keep releasing stuff slowly. Um, yeah, see what we actually get. No, I don't want to release an album anytime soon, really. No. I'm probably going to hold that back and just wait and see as the fans' base builds. Then it'll be the right time. But for now, we'll just, uh, just bring it out and drip some drabs a bit. Really. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You've got for the foundation. Yeah, yeah. There's no point putting an album out without any force so behind it. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do, you do. It's a lot of money and time and all that, so it's worth doing it right when you do it. Um, but yeah, so far I think we're doing it the right way. Just, uh, just got to keep building, building the foundations, like I said, yeah. Um, I know you've got other dates happening around the world, so yeah. including some festivals. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you like festivals or yeah, there are different, it's obviously different from doing the, the normal gigs and that, but I love them anyway, you know, it's, obviously you don't get a sound check and stuff like that, so you're, you're kind of on your toes when you get out there and you're sort of, just sort of working with it a bit, but I, that, that, that buzz is quite good, it's enjoyable, um, and then obviously, yeah, that's it, people might be there for someone else, so yeah, you, you've got to try and try your best to involve the crowd, it's usually a bigger crowd as well at a festival, um, yeah, but I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. I love, that's it, yeah, it's a good platform for bands like us now, trying to build up some trying to, Yeah, trying to build a new fan base, you know. Um, yeah, so we've got well, we've got Blackthorn next week, uh, next weekend. And then uh, we've got Kendall Call in the weekend after that. Uh, so this is all in July. Um, and then we've got um, Lone Star Festival, which is in September, early September. We've got terrible days, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you rough, rough guidelines. If you go on the Facebook page and that, you'll get all, all that, all that. But yeah, Black, uh, Blackthorn, 
uh, Handle Calling, World Star Festival, uh, and three festivals we'll be doing this year. Are you planning any holidays for this year? I am, but yeah, it's only for four days. I've just booked the. Um, my mate said there's flights before, it was before the EU thing, so there was an offer on my uh, 43 quid return to Bremen in Germany, so I said book it, <laughs> and uh, so we didn't book any accommodation or anything like that, we just uh, just sorted that now, so we're going to have two nights in Bremen, two nights in Hamburg, and with a possible, hopefully we'll maybe get a possible acoustic gig in Hamburg, so... Yeah, well that's what I, I, I never switch off, so I'll try and hopefully get a little thing in Hamburg, but enjoy it, enjoy most of it anyway, and uh, try and get some inspiration. Well, that's it, yeah, that's it, yeah, you can't, I can't resist, I might take the singles and keep these with me and see if I can vlog a few, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this is a question Yeah. No, I won't be quiet. I won't sit on the fence. Uh, I do class myself as English, but I've, I've obviously got a lot of love for the Welsh, and obviously both, most of my friends are Welsh. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I've got most of my best friends are Welsh, so I never. And the band, and yeah, part of the band are Welsh as well, so yeah, there's always been that connection with Wales, because obviously I've lived there since I was eight, but like in, in my heart of hearts, I'm, I'm English deep down, so it's like I can't, I can't, I can't hide that fact, you know, uh, and a lot of the rugby. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging it all now, right? <laughs> yeah. Football, definitely. Yeah. Rugby, I'm a good, big fan of rugby, but um, football's been my, all my first passion. So. Oh, so you know that you said that you were English? Yeah. <laughs> when it came to football, what were you? When it came to football? Oh, the, oh the... England, England, yeah. England, oh. yeah. But I, I wanted, I want, I, I wanted Wales to win. I wanted Wales to win, yeah, definitely. I was, you know, definitely rooting for Wales. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on the Facebook and that, yeah. No, I've, like I said, most of my friends are Welsh. We've got that rivalry that you have between the Welsh and the English, but it's a friendly rivalry. You know, we, we, we get on with it, and it's good. I like it. Um, I always support the Welsh. I hope my, I hope my Welsh friends would support us as well, but I don't think they will. No. <laughs> to, uh, well, yeah, I think everyone does with it with England, to be honest. But <laughs> I, don't, I, think, I think it stems back to the old hundreds of years ago when, when it was all fighting that. But, uh, <laughs> No, I've got, I've got no problems with the Scottish Welsh. Finally, do you have a message for your fans? Yeah, just, um, just keep supporting us. And, uh, thank you for that. And spread the word, you know, keep telling people about us. And hopefully, then it will start building this word of mouth and stuff. And, and we'll get more gigs to uh, more people to the gigs. And um, hopefully be proud when you play the live performances. <laughs>